Good morning, children. Welcome to maths class. So, in maths, we have completed with block eighteen, isn't it, children? So, today we will start with our new block, which is block nineteen, which is fractions of collections. Okay. So, fractions. We have learned that five hundred grams is equal to half kg. One by two. One by two is a fraction. I have told you in the previous block. Yes, so those fractions. How we will write these fractions? We will learn in this block. Okay, so in this, our first topic is fractions of collection. Okay, so if they are group of things, some number of things, in that, how do we write the fraction? Okay, or for a thing, if it is divided into some parts, how do we write those parts as a fraction? Okay, children. So let's see. What fraction of collection is collected? So here they have given some balloons. Yes, there are three balloons, isn't it, children? How many balloons are there? One, two, three. Three balloons. In that, how many are collected? Colored. One is colored, isn't it? So out of three balloons, one balloon is correct colored. Okay. So this one and number total number is three. So with this one colored with three balloons, we will write the fraction. How? So how many are colored? One balloon is colored. So you will write one. Okay, and you will place a dash, which we read it as by one by. How many are colored? One. So we wrote one. How many are there in total? Three are there, isn't it? That you will write it down below the line. Okay. So how many are colored? You wrote up, and below we wrote total number. Okay, children. Now for this fraction, you have written one number up, one number down, isn't it? So this up number is known as numerator. Okay, it is known as numerator. Whereas the number which is written below is called denominator. Okay. So, can we say that numerator is the number which tells us how many things are colored? Yes, and denominator, the below number, denominator says the total number of things, isn't it, children? So here, numerator, the up number, numerator is telling us how many things are colored or shaded. We can say. Yes, and denominator, the below number, denominator is telling us the total number of things. Okay, children. So in this way, you need to do the, you need to write the fractions. Okay. Let's see another one. So here you can see some moons, isn't it, children? So how many are there? If you count one, two, three, four, five. Total is five. And how many are colored? Only. One. So how many are colored? We need to write first. That is one, isn't it? So you will write one first, and you will place the dash. You need to read as by. Okay, one by total. How many are there? Five, isn't it? So you will write five. So here one is the numerator, and five is the denominator, and numerator is the Number of things which are colored, and denominator is the total number of things. Okay, children. So let's see the next one. So here you have some stars, isn't it? So in this, three stars are colored, isn't it? Can you see, children? Yes, one, two, three. Three stars are colored, which is three is the numerator. Number of things colored, numerator. So let's write the numerator three. Okay, now how many are there in total? So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, how many are there? Eleven are there. So denominator, you need to write the total number, which is eleven. One, one, eleven. Okay, so in this way. Okay, children. So when different things are there. Okay. Now let's see next question. Color each collection to show the given fraction. So here fraction is given. We need to color it. Okay. So it is in the tabular form where the first one is giving, showing us some 
squares, isn't it? So if you see the fraction, children, 3 by 7. 7 is the total number. 7 is the denominator, total number. Let's check whether they are 7 or not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you have 7. But how many you need to color? 3 you need to color. 1, 2, 3. So we have colored 3. Now this fraction, the fraction for this squares is 3 by 7 as they have given. Okay. Now next you have some stars. Okay. And denominator which, is, which tells us the total number. It is 8. Isn't it? So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are 8 stars. Yes. So in this you need to color 5. Numerate, numerator is 5. That means we need to color 5. So let's color 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Now the fraction of these stars is 5 by 8. Where 5 are colored which is numerator. And 8 is the total number of stars, which is denominator. Okay, children. Now, these are when they are things, different things. But for any given shape or any given thing, if that is divided into some parts, then how we need to write? Let's see. Okay. What, uh, what fraction of the given fra uh, figure is? So, here if you see, children, what is this shape? Hexagon, six sides, isn't it? Hexagon. And that is divided into how many parts? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six parts, isn't it? So, with this six parts, we need to write the fraction. So, six parts means total number of parts are six. That means denominator will be six. Okay? Let's see the questions now. Green. Now green color. How many parts of the hexagon is colored green? 1, 2, 3. Okay. So 3 parts. So numerator you will write it as 3. Okay. And denominator. Total number of parts are 6. Isn't it? Just now we have counted. Yes. So denominator you will write it as 6. Okay. Now let's see the next one. Red. So red, this is the only one which is colored with red. The other parts are with yellow and green. Only one part. So the fraction becomes 1 by total parts 6. 1 by 6. Okay. Next, yellow. Yellow, you have two parts, isn't it? 1 and 2. Two parts you have. So 2. Number of parts 2 by total number of parts that is 6 by 6 2 by 6 so these sums you do it in your classwork children coming to your homework complete the volume book volume book 3 page number 15 s1 fraction of collection okay so in the next class we will learn the next topic children see you in the next class bye